You find us today in Avoca in Kilmechanic in the beautiful Garden of Ireland, County Wicklow. And we're trying to draw your attention to the baby Valoriani. This is the latest offering from the Valoriani family in Tuscany. And Woodfireland are the distributors in Ireland. Today we're making a selection of different treats and tasters for the customers here at Avoca. Uh, we've made some roast Mediterranean veg that we're using to top pizzas. We're cooking some steaks uh, and we're spatchcock, cooking spatchcock chicken. Um, I have a flatbread in at the moment and in the flatbread we've put some chorizo, some caramelized onion, rosemary and roast garlic which we're going to offer to the customers here today. Baby V is unique in that it's designed specifically with the northern European European climate in mind. It comes in three colors and two finish levels and it also comes in gas. The red one is over there which I think looks particularly attractive. That's the standard red model and they're hand built in Tuscany. What they incorporate is refractory cotto so the material inside absorbs heat. You use wood, you use seasoned hardwood, ash, oak, beech, birch, alder with a moisture content no more than 17%. You put your, set your fire on one side of the oven and the rolling flame, screaming heat at 380 degrees is suitable for making a pizza, the best wood-fired pizza you can make. But it's so much more than that. It's a wood-fired oven. It's not a pizza oven. You can sear, you can casserole, you can roast, you can bake. And with the fire out, you'll make the best artisan loaves of bread you can possibly make at home. We're very lucky here. We're spoiled today because we've got this beautiful backdrop. But imagine that in your own garden with your friends and family sitting around on the patio. The reflected heat. It's also a chimenea, and you can see with the Italian flair and the style and design of it, it makes a functional focal point for your garden. They can also be installed indoors. A baby Valoriani with two simple changes can be put indoors. The simple changes are no more than you just need a heat proof base to sit it on and a double walled flue to extract the smoke. They don't smoke because when they're superheated, the organic materials and volatiles from the wood are being driven off immediately. They will smoke for about 15 minutes when you light them initially. So I think we better make something, shall we? So what we're going to do now is sear some steaks, just to show the versatility of a wood-fired oven. It doesn't have to just make pizzas. And what would I use for that is maybe some kind of a grill arrangement. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Well, the reason we're doing a demo today, or well, the reason that we have this uh, grill, is to lift it over the coals. So I'm going to treat the oven a little bit differently this time. I'm going to pull away the fire guard and I'm going to pull the coals across the floor of the oven. Now this is now very much like, you would imagine, an Argentinian barbecue. So we've got wood pulled across the floor, covering the floor with hot embers. All we've added to our steak is a little bit of olive oil and some very, very basic salt and pepper seasoning. Now unfortunately, this piece of steak has broken in two, but it doesn't matter because we will be feeding slivers to the, offering slivers to the customers here today. So we put our steak in our little grill gadget and this is called a griglia it's an Italian Tuscan grill it just sits up there to raise it off the coals while I talk some more I don't have to do that but it prevents me making myself look very ordinary to the customers here today When you buy a quality product like this, warranty is obviously an issue. There is a one year's manufacturing warrant, manufacturer's warranty offered with the Valoriani baby. And it is designed specifically with the Northern European climate in mind. Just to go through a few of the design features. The cotto clay floor is the actual professional material that Valoriani use in their commercial range of ovens that you see in pizzerias and restaurants all over the world. The dome is also the commercial uh, refractory material and manufactured in-house in Valoriani in Tuscany. Valoriani is used in uh, Harrods, in the River Cafe, in Jamie Oliver restaurants globally, and in uh, Ballymaloo, which is our famous place in Ireland here. The dome is galvanized prior to being powder coated. Therefore, it has the ability to withstand our harsh weather in Northern Europe to a greater degree. Now, common sense dictates you cover your baby during the worst of the winter, but it will withstand our weather to a greater extent than many other offerings on the market. Stainless steel fixings, and high temperature silicon sealants complete the package. The stand on which it is mounted here is a wheelie stand, very robustly built with one shelf. There's also a luxury model, this being the standard model. The luxury model has a stainless steel front and two shelves on the stand. All of the babies, in all of the colors, 
in all of the finishes are also available in gas fired option. Let's have a look at the steak, see how we're getting on. So we've had it in here for about two minutes and we're probably at the quite rare stage at this stage. But you can see the finish there now, it's getting nicely seared, a little bit of seasoning. This is the finest of fillet steak, Irish fillet steak, the finest beef that our little green island here has to offer. All that's happening here is the coals are, are being used as a barbecue. We tend to use uh, quite a lot of charcoal here in Ireland for barbecuing. Barbecues traditionally are use, use wood, use embers, like we're using here now. But that's the beauty and the versi versatility of the oven. If I come later on, on a cooling cycle, as the oven cools and I want to make some bread, I just remove all these embers and use the residual reflected heat that's contained within the dome. We've created a thermal mass here. It's so well insulated that it's 400 degrees in there, but I can touch it. I wouldn't touch the chimney, but I can touch the dome. Okay. So to make bread, you remove all the fire, let the oven settle down to about 230 degrees centigrade. Perhaps if you want to get a crusty outer, a little cast iron dish of water to create steam. And you simply put the door on like that. Temperature measurement in a Valoriani is simplicity itself. You use what we call an infrared thermometer and it'll give you a little laser indication showing you, pointing you, pointing you to where you're actually measuring the temperature. This is currently operating at 410 degrees centigrade, which is quite hot. Quite hot and so hot that I'll have to use my gauntlet, I think, at this point to remove our steaks, which we're now going to offer to some customers and see what they think, along with some flatbread that we made earlier on. We also have this really nice horseradish, a horseradish sauce from the butchers here at Avoca. Sharon tells me that her meat is the, Sharon from uh, Pat Whelan's Butcher, she tells me this is the best meat in Ireland. And I'm not, I'm not going to argue with her because she donated it very kindly. The uh, Pat, Whelan, Pat Whelan's Butchers donated the meat for us to use here today. So, just take that meat out. I think I'm going to be on the medium rare side. So I'm just going to slice it up. It's really, really good beef this, it's really tender. Ladies, are you ready to sample some of my yeah. fillet steak? Now it's beef, yeah. medium rare, medium rare? Perfect. Excellent. These ladies have just come here for the lunch today and they're oh, now movie stars and being incredibly cooperative. So for, so for that, I thank them. Come to, you're on the way to a hen party. Oh my goodness. We better feed you up so. So well, this is the horseradish sauce from James Whelan. And uh, I'm giving give the ladies some flatbread and some steaks. Now girls, if you don't mind, you better try some of that. No, no, it looks so good, thank you. Now that's the that horseradish from, a little bit of pink horseradish, that's a new one on me. So where's the hen on? It's in Wexford in the house. Oh Lord, you'll be a mess tomorrow, won't you? No, you've got to behave. Good on you. <laughs> Enjoy.